What's going on, everybody? Brandon here, back with another action figure review. In front of us, brand new 12-inch figures from Spin Master. We have Kara Pax in the red suit from the upcoming Blue Beetle movie, Nightwing, and Robin. Let's dive on in. I am so excited for these figures, you guys. Kara Pax, we have gotten a look at him in this suit, I believe, in one scene of the trailer. So that will be very interesting. This guy is not a target. I cannot find him there. Luckily, I was able to get him on Amazon for only 10 bucks. So very happy about that. If you need Terra Pax in the 12-inch scale, you can definitely find him there. Nightwing in his future state suit. I am so excited for this one, you guys. I can't believe we got Nightwing in this costume. They got the figure. It's been realized, and here it is. So the rest of the wave, Robin. Batman looks like in his future state costume as well for Dark Detective. Standard Joker, standard Batman, and Batman that we've been getting in the four-inch scale that comes with the Batmobile and with Killer Croc. This is another future state look at him without that jacket. So very interesting. Here's the UPC if you need it. Again, Amazon as well. Amazon for the win. Um, targets in my area don't seem to be having any of these guys lately. So yeah, very interesting. And then Robin. Robin is... Looks like the exact same from the three pack, so likely there won't be any differences here, but we will verify and confirm that. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe this version would have a cape and maybe the other one didn't, or maybe this one would have accessories, so we'll find out. Um, I got a feeling they will be exactly the same, though. All right, we're going to get these toys out of the packaging and take a closer look. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we got our action figures out of the packaging. They look incredible. First up, taking a look at Carapax. He looks fantastic. This design is killer. I absolutely love it. Um, it makes me think so many things. Um, with the Magistrate story and everything that happened in Future State, um, some of those Peacekeepers did have armor that looked very much like this, Bionic. And um, this is so interesting. My gosh, the indestructible man in his red suit. Um, I see a lot of detail here. I am still processing, but like, look at his ankles, how they're different and look at how the arms are different. And there's just a lot, a lot of detail going on here. And a black wash would probably bring it out even more so. Um, they really, I mean, they ran this one all the way across the field. They did not pull any punches. And uh, this paint apps, uh, the red paint apps, um, the sculpt, everything is just killer. Um, so a very cool figure, one that I am super, super excited to have. Um, I don't know much about Conrad Carapax, um, and this suit makes me think more so now than ever that I, I really don't know. Um, I believe he's a war veteran, and now he is using his tactics and what remains of his body and his skill to complete a mission and what that is i'm not sure um, but we're gonna find out in the movie so very excited for this it's like a metallic burgundy and there's even some marbleization here in the shoulders so it looks really really good i am so impressed with this it looks fantastic he does have an accessory and it kind of looks like a scarab so this is very interesting um, and this attaches to his back and we can see here it looks like it looks like this would fold into this part uh, but it doesn't it's just sculpted that way so this is very very interesting and I mean my gosh look at the detail work there the orange the silver the burgundy it looks really good so this is what makes up the the character I guess part of his story and we see even on the full armored carapax what he has definitely looks like this on his back. So very interesting. And that looks really good. Um, I really want to get him like a sword or some guns or something. He looks like a ninja with two swords on his back. He also really gives me Red Hood vibes. <laughs> and again, uh, also thinking about the Magistrate. If you haven't checked out the Future State stories for Nightwing, for Robin, for Batman, definitely check it out. It's worth it. So articulation on this guy Moving in his head, side to side, he can look up pretty good. Um, he can look down just a little bit. And all in all, it's very nice. Shoulder pads are definitely hindering. Um, we'll have to take this thing off to do the 360 on his back. Um, but it is possible. 
so let's see if we can get that off. Oh, that's that's tucked in there pretty good. I don't think I can get that off now, even if I wanted to. Wow. Yeah, that's not coming off, guys. That's definitely stuck on there now. Be wary of that, I suppose. Uh, oh, I made it happen. All right, just tilt the tilt the arm out, and we get the 360 at the shoulder, and the arms come out just a little bit, not too much. Um, there's a bend and a twist at the elbow, full 360 in the wrist. And what's really cool about this, this arm being different from this one, they wanted to give that gear um, its own piece here. And so they did like to show like that's how he bends the arm. But to do the twist, they gave us a cut. How cool is that? They sacrificed no articulation to give us this look. So both arms can do that. That is so cool. We do get a full 360 in the wrist here as well. And the legs come out not too far, hindered by what's going on here with his hips and the robotics there. So the legs come out about that far and they go forward about that far. So pretty good. Um, they don't really go back at all. And there's a ratchet bend at the knee. All in all, you guys, Conrad Carapax, a super cool figure. The more I look at this, the more possibilities I see. I'm even starting to think about Fortnite and all kinds of things and some anime. So ultimately, this guy is a really, really cool figure and I can't recommend it enough. All right, Future State Nightwing. What an incredible figure this is. The sculpt work and the detailing is absolutely phenomenal. The paint apps, not as much, but you know, we are limited with what we can get on that $10 basic figure. Overall, I think the presentation of this guy is just incredible. Um, the detail work, look at these pockets, look at these texturings here. This is incredible. And the armor looks spot on to what we see in the comics. If you have not read Future State for Nightwing, definitely do it. It's a great run. It's only a couple issues. Um, Future State takes place um, 2025, 2026 and beyond. So my thought maybe is that Spin Master thought this is where DC would go in a couple years. And then that by 2025, that would be current DC Comics. And this would be the way... Nightwing would look based on the history of everything that I know about the DC universe. Anytime they say this is what's going to happen in the future, it never, ever does. Um, <laughs> things always change. So with that in mind, we don't know if this is what Nightwing will really look like in 2025. Um, I, you know, like it for what it is, and I think it's really cool. Nightwing's story is a little bit more limited compared to Red Hood's, and Red Hood had a really long run. Um, but yeah, nice that we finally get this figure. So articulation in the head is great. Um, he can look side to side. I think this is kind of weird. I can just notice this on his neck. It looks like that should be painted right there, um, but it's not, so... That's kind of a bummer. I may get another one of these and really deck it out and just go go all in. These should be painted black up here. And, of course, there's gray everywhere in there um, to kind of show the differentiation in his costume. His legs, definitely, there should be multiple different paint apps going on here. Most of it should be black with just some blue armor. So that is interesting. Anyways, um, I'll get back to the articulation. Just so much to digest. What an interesting figure. And uh, all in all, I really, I really, really like this one, you guys. This might be my favorite Nightwing. Um, moving in the arms is pretty good. And we do get the full 360 in the wrist. Of course, nothing in the waist. But, man, it looks so good. I would not want a cut right here, for sure. It looks, it looks really, really good the way that it is. Legs come out about that far. Pretty good. They go forward pretty good. They don't really go back at all. And there's a ratchet bend at the knee, and that looks really good. All in all, Nightwing, a killer figure. If you're going to pick up one new 12-inch figure, so far this has been my absolute favorite. Next, taking a look at Robin. This is a very interesting figure, the exact same one that we got previously with the three-pack that I just reviewed. Um, but all in all, I will say I really appreciate the sculpt work and the detailing. This is also Robin from a future state story. Just a couple of issues and I doing my previous review, seeing this emblem, seeing this mask, I automatically thought that this was not future state related and that it was just um, an older version of Damian Wayne. But um, I'll go on the record to say I was totally wrong. This Robin is for sure Tim Drake. 
This has to be a Tim Drake Robin because in DCA Future State, this is exactly what he looks like. And I took a closer look at that source material. This is for sure Tim Drake. Um, in the comics, he did not have the emblem. And this is a Damian Wayne Robin emblem. So I don't know why they gave him the emblem. And the mask should be a little bit different without the black around the eyes. Um, that was another factor here that made me think this could be uh, Damian Wayne. But it's not. And in Future State, he has no cape. No cape on Robin, no emblem on Robin, and then that's it. So we'll take a look at his articulation real quick. He's got movement in his head side to side. He can look up just a little bit and down just a tad, so not too bad. His arms come out only about that far, hindered by shoulder pad. Forward and back, full 360 bend, and twist at the elbows, and he does have a full 360 in the wrist. Nothing at the waist. Legs come out about that far. They go forward. They don't really go back, and there's a bend at the knee. So Future State, Robin, Robin Eternal. Ultimately, he looks really good. I'm so excited and happy we have this guy in the lineup. An awesome piece for sure. For a size comparison, here's our new Conrad Carapax in the red suit with a couple of his previous counterparts. Uh, Blue Beetle, I think, looks really good next to him. Awesome figures from the movie. Uh, Spin Master's done a killer job. We also have Red Hood and the previous Mattel, Blue Beetle, and Booster Gold. These guys look great together. For a size comparison with our future state, Nightwing, here he is with the original sculpt for Nightwing from Spin Master. I have him in red and blue, and there's Red Hood as well. Um, if I find a couple of other Nightwings, I'll be sure to throw them in the clip after this one. There is an armored version of Nightwing that Spin Master gave us recently in the 12-inch scale using the same head sculpt, and I've been trying really hard to find my Mattel Nightwing in the 12-inch scale. That one uh, is probably going to be the one that rivals the Future State one the most, but I still think the sculpt we got on Future State is perfect. It's my new favorite sculpt for Nightwing for sure. Next, for a size comparison with our new Robin, the single card is right here. The one from the three-pack right here. They are definitely 100% exactly the same. No differences in those Robin figures. And then, of course, we have the original Spin Master Robin and a couple from Mattel, the True Moves Robin, um, and the Evergreen Batman Unlimited Robin line. So all in all, these guys look fantastic together. And for one more comparison, here's our new figures with some other newer 12-inch scale Spin Master figures. Black Adam, Joker, a couple of Batmans, and a new Superman. Very exciting to see the new lineup from Spin Master and all the new sculpt work and detailing. It's been absolutely fantastic, you guys. I think we're getting most of these guys in the 4-inch scale as well. So that is very exciting. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Conrad Carapax in the red suit, Nightwing, and Robin, all 12-inch scale figures from Spin Master. You can get them on Amazon for about 10 bucks a piece. Some really cool figures, you guys. The detail work, the design, I love the sculpting. They're really upping their game over at Spin Master, so I definitely recommend these figures. I think they're fantastic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're going to pick up or pass on these, what you're finding online and in your local areas. I would love to hear from you. You guys, the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all the support on the channel has been phenomenal. Thank you, each and every one of you. As I find more new cool and awesome stuff, I'll be sure to bring it to you here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.